Hi, uh, Jared Petty here for IGN, joined by John Ryan. Hi there. We are landing on Mother Base. We're going to talk about how to manage this enormous collection of platforms. It's definitely, I mean, right now mine's built up about halfway. Yeah. Uh, I'm at almost two platforms on every every spot, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's one of those things that like it can very easily take over your life. You can, if you, you can, let it. and you can do a lot with Mother Base. You really can power snake up uh, a lot of different ways by manipulating this system. Let's talk about that. You know, we're actually landing here. You don't have to land on Mother Base to do most of what you do at Mother Base. You do have to. You have to take a shower. Uh, when uh, you get yeah, all occasionally you do have to come back and visit. Uh, yeah. Because the staff morale will go down if you don't come back often enough. Right. Uh, you'll actually be treated to a nice little cutscene where Snake is kind of accosted by D-Dog if he's been away too long. Yep. Um, but your staff morale will go down, and what will happen then is that your soldiers, the people, especially in your combat unit especially, uh, will start fighting amongst themselves, so you will find that guys could be either discharged, you could lose guys, or they could end up in either the brig or in... Uh, the medical the wing, in the sick yeah. bay because they've been beaten to within an inch of their life. Yeah, another reason to go back, of course, is when you want to trigger your allies. Once you've picked up buddies, you've got to go back to Mother Base every now and then to go through the sequences. You have to visit Quiet in her cell right. uh, until you get Ocelot there in that sequence. you got to visit D-Dog uh, to make friends with him there. And, of course, you got to get that blood off you. But in addition to that, we also have a lot of fun with menus in Mother Base, and this is really where most of the uh, key management goes on. You see, in Mother Base, you're collecting... All these guys you're faulting out all the time are ending up here, and they we become... It up, we can yeah. actually have a look at it. Uh, right. we can go to, we'll start here, but we'll go down to uh, yeah, staff, staff management. management. Uh, and we'll just bump over to all staff. Right, and I see these guys are all all have different abilities. See those letter grades there? Each of those are different skills. So like, let's to look at uh, Striker Wallaby. Striker Wallaby. Striker Wallaby um, here. He is pretty bad across the board. He's yeah. actually one of our t most terrible soldiers. Yeah, but um, he's okay at fighting. He's, he's, he's okay right. at fighting and he's okay at gathering intel. Yeah, everything um, else he's thinking He is at. trash at research and development, uh, yep. base development, support, uh, everything else. I'm going to hop uh, off yeah, our we, and, we, and those first. six things are important. R&D, that's how you get your new weapons. Intel, that reveals new stuff on the battlefield. Medical's important because it keeps the staff alive. Healthy and that, and that alive, actually yeah. becomes really important later on in the game. Uh, support uh, sounds boring. But having the ability not just to call in fire support, but to get those regular supply drops that you need, that's actually vital. Yeah. The combat teams go out for deployment. That's how you make most of your money in the yep. mid to late game, and it is extremely important. And finally, base development. That's actually a way to process and get more resources. Right, which well, base all development the also do. like helps you, it, it reduces the time, the cooldown time that it might take to build these other platforms right. as well. Yeah, and it, it helps you get more resources. It does a lot of things, and getting more platforms gives you space for more dudes, which gets you more points, which levels up your abilities, which right. opens up new gear. Exactly. It's a kind of a self-feeding machine. Honestly, I unless you are rushing toward a particular item, I think that continuously refreshing the auto-assign uh, is boss? a good way to do bases most of the time. Yeah, absolutely. Because um, it keeps things um, balanced, but sometimes you want to rush towards something. The, well, that's the thing, too, is like if you normally, here, if we, if we open up our staff management tab again, yeah. uh, you can see there's a thing that says click R3 to auto assign. Right. Uh, so that means that it will automatically, I've already done that, but it will automatically assign every one of these uh, new soldiers to the unit that they are best suited for. Yeah. So, like, you'll see here, if we go over to our combat unit, almost everyone in the top third of our grouping is A plus or an A. Uh, same thing for R&D, base development. That You don't have to do any of that. Uh, but if you want to, let's look at uh, development, because this is where you're going to develop most of your items and your weapons. Uh, if we go over to, there was something I was looking at earlier. What was I think it was one of the mines. Yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, there it is. So the EM mine. Uh, so I currently am only one level below it in my R&D team, and that's the only thing stopping me from developing the EM mine, which is a great thing that'll let you pop up and capture vehicles. So I actually really want to build this. So if you've got enough space on your platform, right, you've got enough room for dudes. I do, actually. I, I actually had to fire some guys from my R&D team because they were just really terrible. Okay. Um, so we're at 26 right now. So let's go to another unit. Um, probably combat might do it. Uh, we can change what their best suitability is. So yeah. we've got a bunch of guys who are in A rank for R&D. So let's just take the top five guys over here mm -hmm. and then we can change their so assignment there you go. and send them to R&D. And look, that'll bump us up to level 27. And now you can make the mine. And now I can make that mine that I want. But you also see that your combat team went down a little bit, which means when you send them on combat deployment missions, they're going to be a little less capable. Right, but the simple fix to that is you build the thing and send them back. In a half an hour, all i got to do is click that R3 button and then reassign everybody else. And then uh, but you brought up combat deployment. Yeah. Now, combat deployment we kind of touched on in another video. You can check it out on our wiki, yep. uh, ign.com slash wiki slash Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. 
Uh, but combat deployment is uh, where you're going to make the better part of your money. So you yeah. can see here, I've already got a guy out on a, I've got a team out on a mission already. Uh, they are not only going out to get me some more GMP and some Golden Crescent, but they are also, you can see from that little white helmet icon on the left, they're going out to destroy a supply chain or a storage shed. In this case, helmets, which will keep your right. enemies from having as many helmets and missions when you play. And that's 20,000, but some of these, when they unlock, I mean, uh, uh, for so example, 400,000. Uh, 400,000 plus a blueprint, plus some more supplies, plus a bunch of high-level volunteers with a very high probability of actually acquiring them. Yeah. Um, so I'm actually going to send out a team on this one. I'm just going to send my A team, not my A plus team, though. Yeah. Uh, I mean, actually, no. On this no, one, you need your A plus, plus team on. because you see the fighting ability of your opposing group is pretty good. You also see that in addition to troops, some of these you need weapons, or uh, pardon me, some of these you need vehicles. Yep. So you're going to have to fault out vehicles before these missions. And this one, we had to have a jeep before we could accept this exactly. assignment. So it's another good incentive to have uh, to to fault out equipment you beyond the other best. benefits you get Absolutely. from using any oh. missions. Also, once you do these, it's it's a little bit obscured, but you need to collect the rewards manually. So you'll get notifications saying that this mission has been finished, this one's done this. Uh, so if you go to the yeah. rewards section... Now, this is a different mission you're getting rewards for because the one you just sent your guys on, that's still in progress. That's still in progress, right. correct. So this is for another mission um, you completed. This one, however, it looks like... Uh, I think I'm, I've am i got too many people in my combat staff already. Oh, okay. All right. uh, but they'll just go to my waiting room. So they'll just sit there and wait. And, kind right. of like, hey, and thankfully, my intel team leveled up as well, which is awesome. Yeah, there you go. So look at that. Uh, i got a bunch of C-level guys. Well, I can mix them around later on. Anyway, that's kind of the core of what goes on in Mother Base. And then, of course, you want to occasionally build new platforms. How do you do that? Well, platforms become available when you have enough money, the GMP, but you've also got to have a lot of resources. Yeah. And you see here, you're actually ready to build another platform. I'm ready to build here, so many yeah. other platforms. So, uh, uh, what I'm not ready to build is a third or my final R&D platform. Okay. All right. That's well, locked um, up. Uh, well, I've, I've, I've put most of my efforts into my R&D. Okay. Uh, right. But, you know, I could honestly probably use a better Intel platform. Okay. Uh, so that so what this is doing is you can see it says uh, Intel's team staff limit 60 to 75, number of decks 3. Right. Uh, if we really quickly before, actually, no, I'm just going to hit that button. I'm just going to do it. I, just w I want it. I'm yep. going to build it. I want it. Oh, but now I can't build, like, anything else. Yeah, we locked um, up for the rest. But if we look over at our map, you can see uh, that this is our Intel platform currently. We've got two of them already. When a third one gets built, then uh, it'll be off to the side of it as well. Right, and, and we'll room from, and why do you want that? That's room for more dudes, which means you can right. add more power, which means you can, le you know, level up exactly. and build more resources. So we've only, I've got 75 people on my R&D team currently. Yeah. Um, the better half of them are quite terrible. Yeah, now that's uh, your R&D. You just upgraded your Intel team. I just upgraded my Intel team. So yeah. right now it's, a, I have a cap of 60, which yeah. I'm full right now. My Intel team is, is capped. Um, but once I upgrade it again, it'll upgrade to 75. Yep, and and then w if you were to go back to your base facilities and upgrade your com command platform, you would also be able to upgrade every single deck uh, by five. Yeah, that command platform upgrades are really big Which deal. actually, I think I can do that Yeah, now, you so can. I'm going to it's do it. Look, Look at that. Yay. Yay. And I can still upgrade my support platform. Look at you. Look at you building that base. Look at right. this is a good day. This is a good day. This I mean, is I'm a good spending day. spending all of my GMP. I had $5 million when we started But this. that's, again, you want to do that. I mean, honestly, dumping money in your base, you always want to keep a reserve to keep them going in the red. You want to have enough to buy what you need. Yep. You want to have enough to, f to fund supply drops and, and pickups. But really, throwing money back into the base is the quickest way to develop new stuff. Absolutely. You just want to keep reinvesting. I think that gives a pretty good idea what you do with Mother Base here, John. Yeah, well, uh, you can also, uh, if you go out in the field, and you uh, come back. If you, I'm actually quite clean right now. Yeah, you are. Uh, but you'll come back. You'll be shot. You'll have holes in you. You you might be dirty. If you're away for way too long, uh, you want to come back and you want to take a shower. Ah, nice, uh, refreshing Because shower. it says that you're physically and mentally refreshed. Also, it keeps your staff's morale a little bit higher. Yep. Uh, because they just don't want to deal with you when you're so stupid. Also, I've noticed in missions where I'm covered in blood, flies start to buzz around me yes. sometimes. And well, that, that happens if you're out in the field just too long anyways. You yeah. sweat so much. Kind of gross. You can also come back and train with your employees or your uh, your team members. And that does level them up. It does. Yeah. Uh, it levels them up and also it improves staff morale, which is weird considering they're just getting punched in the face. Well, you know, that there's that, you know, it's kind of like that guy, was it Grenade Man? Hit me more. Hit yeah. me harder. Oh, no, that was the Cyborg Ninja. Oh, Hurt no, it's both. Well, he's like, no, that was, yes, yes, hit me more. Right, anyways. No, that's, yeah, that's, that. oh, wow, um, Mega Man and Metal Gear brought together. To wow, Army brought together by uh, Masochism. Yeah, I know, that's right? Strange. Uh, uh, so this is Mother Base. Uh, for more on Mother Base, Ford Operating Bases, and everything else in this massive world of Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain, Jared, where are we going to come back to? I really hope that you will visit your friends here at IGN.